Oh, you you'd be surprised. <laughs> it looks it looks just like this a lot of yeah. times. And just to follow up on what Eric was asking, how do you get this done this week, or is this going to have to be delayed now? It is resolution. When do you think you can actually make a deal? Well, we're going to move through as many as we can. If you look at the schedule for tomorrow, we have a vote series at 1:30, uh, where we're going to start doing amendments. Uh, and you remember back, you know, under the the last Congress when they had proxy voting, every single vote. You know, whether it was a quorum call, whether it was an amendment, uh, you couldn't get a vote through the process without at least 25 to 35 minutes. Uh, we got rid of proxy voting, and in fact, now we're going to two-minute voting. And so, you know, while we have hundreds of amendments, we'll probably have votes on. Some of them will be unblocked. We might have, you know, about 10, 15, 20 that you can package together that are all similar. So not every one of those will be voted on individually. But with two-minute votes, we will be processing. And then tomorrow night, probably be voting at least until midnight. So we'll, we're going to go through, uh, you know, ultimately, we're going to work through the process. If we can finish it all this week, we will. If it takes more time, we'll we'll take it right. It's the most important thing is that we get the policy right because we're talking about the the priorities of funding our national defense. It's critically important that we get this right. Last question. Yeah. Thank you. So there's a handful of your members that are saying that they would prefer a standalone vote on Ukraine even to return their vote for the NDA total. What are your thoughts on that? Well, if you look at Ukraine, I think in the past you've had some comments, even during the debt ceiling negotiation, uh, that some senators were saying, Republican and Democrat, were saying that they wanted a supplemental. And you heard the speaker saying that that wasn't something uh, that we would be supporting. At the end of the day, what we're looking at in this NDAA is how to refocus our funding. You know, you pick the number first, how much money will be spent on our nation's defense. But once you get into the priorities, that's when the real important battles happen. You know, how how do we fix some of the inadequacies we have right now uh, with our naval fleet, for example? Uh, how do we make sure that we have the right tools and, and proper pay for our, our military service members? And, you know, both Elise and Mark talked about that as members of the committee. Chairman Rogers, I applaud him and all of the members of the committee because they also wanted to focus on our men and women in uniform. Look, we have a recruiting problem right now. You don't hear this Department of Defense talking about it enough. And frankly, I think a lot of the woke agenda that they're trying to inject into the military that moves them away from their core mission is hurt military recruiting. Their numbers are way off. There are a lot of young men and women that don't want to go into uh, an indoctrination process. They want to be a part of helping fighting to defend our nation's uh, values, to fight to defend our freedoms. And we've got to get back to that. So it's not just the amount of money, but it's how you set the priorities with the money that we spend to make sure the military gets gets put back on the focus of what it's supposed to do. And that's been taking up a lot of effort, both in committee and on the floor. So thank you all.